But you get to play the other brother. Yeah. It's, How does that feel? It's crazy, but it's a uh, it's a lot of fun because I mean, you know, we get to we get to bring this character in that's obviously un, an, a really unknown element and an unknown character and somebody that you know the fans and I guess uh, a lot of the the original Psycho watchers aren't, aren't used to seeing. Um, but with that, obviously, we get we have a lot of flexibility and kind of room to kind of do our own thing. He's a lot different than I expected when he first came on the show. How did yeah. they? How did they sell him to you? Um, well, first of all, they, they explained to me that that was kind of the, this arc was obviously going to kind of take place, and that I wasn't basically just going to be an ass, you know, the entire show. Because in the beginning, like, I me, I'm like, wow, I hate myself. I'm like, why am I so mean? And it's like, I'm walking in the house, and I'm basically just like walking all over them, like I own this place, and I'm terribly rude to my mom, and like all these things. Um, but I think that's kind of what makes Dylan kind of redeeming is that like you learn to like him and you realize he's not like a, a, a terrible guy. He's not like a bad person. He's just like kind of gone through some bad stuff and like everybody else, he's a little off in the family. Um, but but he, he's, you know, he's a nice guy. He can be a, he can be a good guy. It seems like he really cares about Norma and Norman. He does. I don't, I, he doesn't necessarily know how to like express his feelings, I think. But he... He definitely, you know, he, he loves his family and deep down and, and he cares about them and obviously they just have sort of a rocky past and, um, uh, you know, sometimes they have a hard way of showing their affection, but... Do you think he might be some savior of some sort and be able to step in and do something to help redeem Norman before he goes too far off the deep end? Maybe. I mean, obviously he's not a savior because we all know what happens. Uh, maybe he just kind of... Uh, prolongs that or something, I don't know, you know, the the, the real coming of Norman Bates, but, um, you know, I think, I don't think he, at this point anyways, totally is responsible for why Norman became Norman. 